Sid and his colleagues always make operating these elegant devices it seem so easy. I don't know what possessed the elegants to surround themselves with these chattering orbs, but the fact that they remain while their creators do not speak volumes. Hmm. Yeah. For vengeance. The strainment node stands poised to lend a hand. Figuratively, figuratively speaking, smoked chicken. Hell yeah. Oh, this is even high quality too. Yeah, hell yeah. Guiding user to terminal. This way, please. Don't look at me. This is a task for you and Alphano. This terminal appears to be similar to the one we encountered when we first set foot here. Let's hope it'll be equally helpful. Look, uh, access granted to user Griffin Fire and her adolescent Elizabeth companion. Master Fire's other companion is deemed a potential risk to safe operation has been denied access. Ah. <laughs> Let's see, according to the terminal, the central control system is presently employing software version 56.135. Dare I ask which version you are employing? Why software version 42.002, of course. Blip, blip. Warning. Errors detected in the data management system. Estimated time required for update five years. Fuck you. Do you have- do you not know of broadband? Optic cape- optic- fiber optics? This is rather longer than we were hoping. Aren't there any other options? For instance, using this terminal to operate to you and restraints instead? Well, the proposed method is indeed an option. Please be warned, however, that the procedure may have changed as a result of the system update and my instructions may no longer be accurate. Well, I can't imagine I, it will have changed all that much. As long as we pay due attention to any discrepancies, I dare say we shall be able to muddle our way through. Don't bother trying to explain. Just tell me if we've made any progress. Better be over there brooding. I would say so, yes. It does, however, require that I remain here to operate the terminal. I shall inform you via Link Pearl once I am ready to release the shackles. It might be best if you left the spirit vessel with me. I may have yet use for it. Rest assured I will be certain to return to Gra once it's all over. Yet yeah, take it. Man, please, I don't want this thing. Just a little more work and Tiamat will be free. But before we go any further, there is something I would know. Yes. When Tiamat and her kin fought against the Alag and Empire, both sides were but dancing to the tune of the Asins. And it was the same in Ishgard when they stoked the fires of conflict between men dragon from the shadows. All that the Asians touch turns to ash, and thus you have you made it your mission to fight them. But there have been times when you tried to reach out to them instead, to find common ground. Who told you that? I told you about my romance with Emmett, so don't even talk to me about that. So I must ask, what do you intend to do with Fen Daniel? Will you try and reach out? No! Fuck no! You can go fuck off. Enemy or no, I want to understand him. I will try, yes, never fails our remember. Certainly, after I have wiped the small. No, this is the only answer. You can go fuck off, back to fuck off land where you fucked off from. Hmm, I'd rather. Put my lens through his heart and be done with it. Look, we can't both bang him at the same time, right? But perhaps that's the difference between you and me. You see the good in people, even if it be but the faintest glimmer. I only hope you do not come to ruin your benevolence. Mm, you know what? I'm hope I'm expecting that. You think us some wise for viewing the world thus? Far from it. That has never been your way, as I learned when we journeyed together with Ice. Yes, you did. You learned that we could, like, try to reach out instead of just putting lances through hearts. Yet the fact remains that there are some who view compassion as a weakness to be exploited. And there may come a time when they, you extend the hand of friendship only to wish that you had dealt with the killing of the blow. That's true. You mean, like, aka Xenos? So save your mercy for those who deserve it. And Exactly! I mean, uh, you're, you're not wrong! Fan Daniel isn't one of them. Well, I should be getting back to our task. task. If Alphano has things in hand here, we suggest we join the others. Okay.
think you me a bitch, Estinian, that I'm just going to extend my my hand and friendship to both and Daniel and Zenos, whatever the fuck he is. I cannot deny the logic of Estinian's argument, given that all that sex state uh, 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 Given all that is at stake, even the slightest lapse in judgment could be the undoing of us all. You think Xenos would like to go frolic in a field of flowers and like abandon his whatever the fuck he's trying to do right now? I don't even know. Releasing dragon restraints may result in specimen loss, damage to facilities, and incineration of staff. Well, yeah, that's the, the that's usually what happens. That's usually the risk that you expect to take, but we're expected to take them. So the spread vessel proved useful after all, excellent. This Fen Daniel truly is without reason in our creed. He is no better than a rabbit dog. Treat him treat with him if you must, but be ready to us. I'm not doing shit to him. I'm gonna go the easy way. Estinian told me all is well, but nothing more. Honestly, it's like getting blood out of a stone with him. I take it from Alphado's absence that he's indeed elsewhere. Well, that all sounds rather frustrating, but you got there in the end. While you were off taking talking to nodes, Bra and I were learning as much as we could about Tiamat's condition. Our readings confirmed that her ethereal balance leans strongly towards the umbral, as was the case with the kobolds. Therefore, all other things being equal, the treatment should work. Really? Umbral is... for them is stasis, right? Astro umbral. Umbral here in the source is stasis, because astral in the first... I don't know. The difficulty lies in the sheer quality of quantity of aether in which we must contend. Multiple applications of treatment will inevitably be required if we are to reverse the effects of the temper. Okay, so she is tempered, but she's just only barely holding it. There, um, that is actually, um, I think one of the Sahagin did something like, oh no, he was kind of thrall to Leviathan, but there are thralls that have their sense of reason, like, there's different levels of tempering. And I suppose Tiamat is like in the higher level where like it's not as bad but she still can still come with like if there's any more damage to her side. So meaning I'll need all the ADAR I can get. Thank you in fact the welcome. Maybe considering that she's uh like has her senses, it probably won't be a monumental effort to untemper her as much as it would for like maybe kobolds and stuff, but it would still be a lot. Although this endeavor will ask much of us, we will we do have one reason to be optimistic. Namely that Tiamat shows no signs of fanatical devotion, so it's just a milder case of tempering than the suburb. Yeah, exactly what I said. Man, I'm I'm fucking good. I'm such a nerd. I'm nerder than you, you cat little cat boy. Um Tiamat saw Bahamut as an equal rather than a god. Might that have made a difference? Now that you mention it, it might very well might. She would not have believed it necessary to defer to his will. But enough talk. It's time to put our theories to the proof. Tell Alpha No to disengage the restraints Aetheral chambers. The da dampers. Oh, there's Aetheral dampers. Okay. So, as soon as she gets unbound, there might be a different, uh, different, uh, state. I'm counting on you, Angelo. Ah, uh, such so warm. The frost that shrouded my soul doth begin to thaw, but what are these visions of days long forgotten? Of war with the men of Alad, wherefore do such baleful memories return to me now? Could it be that the process of restoring her soul to its pretempered state is awakening ancient memories? Or might the opposite be true? If so, by helping her recall the past, we can be able to speed her recovery. Oh. Oh! That, there's another thing. Maybe because she's tempered, it's actually part of the reason why she's so depressed. Like, that might be why it's suppressing her soul here. 
Your friend, she trusts you. Speak to her. Ask her to tell you if time's passed. So the, the depression is the tempering. Ah. Tell me of Bahamut and Dacians. Uh, which one? Just tell me of Bahamut. What's the first thing you need to pick up? Ah, uh, Bahamut, my beloved. Would that the peace we found in Mercedia could have lasted for eternity, but alas, it was not to be. The Asians saw to that. In all creation, I know of none more wicked. It was at their behest that the men of Alad first came unto Mercedia into our home. Is that her or is that her? The tale began when Bahamut and I left our father's side. We took wing in search of a place to make our airy. Is this Tiamat? Yeah, I think it's Tiamat. Beyond the southern ocean, we discovered a lush and fertile land. It would come to be known as Mercedia by the children of men, though many years were to pass before they crossed the seas. Upon our arrival, we were welcomed by the peaceful people of the forest, kin to the trees. Surrounded by nature's bounty, Bahamut and I found a place to raise our young. Fascinating. This correlates with the writings of the Charlene scholar Rurusha. She posits that man first settled on the southern continent towards the end of the Second Ashur era. Correctly, it would appear. If only she were with us to hear the tale of the magic herself. Again, Angelo. this. When first the children of man arrived on our shores, no foot did they set in those places over which we hold dominion. Such was their fear of dragon kind. And as they kept their distance, so did we let them be. Yet, as the days went by, ship after ship appeared upon their horizon, bearing even more of their brethren, who divided the vast land amongst themselves. For a time, they knew peace and prosperity, but as their numbers grew, the smaller their share came to be, and soon they began to covet the territory of their fellows. Ere long, man fought man, blood was answered with blood, and none could see an end to the strife, until one day they came to us. Recognizing our wisdom, they entreated us to intercede in their conflicts. Muhammad agreed, and with him presiding over the affairs of men, the land knew peace and smart. Is this Muhammad? No, this is Tiamat. You know, I just know she has like some kind of eyeliner on her eyes. Like, it makes her eyes pointed, so you know that she's a girl. Alas, those golden days of harmony too. Or fail, faded to end. For the men of Alad slew my beloved, and I, in my rage and sorrow, heeded the envenomed words of the Asians. The rest thou knowest for me to know. But your tale doesn't have to end there. When you are free, we'll rid the world of the Asians together, and you and your beloved will have justice. Fine sentiments, but you're almost spent. I'll keep watch from above if the treatment fails. Then. Oh, if the treatment fails, then. Ugh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I swear when this is over. Keep going, Alice. The magic is working. Slowly but surely, the magic is working, aided no doubt by the memories you made her share. Well, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. No patient could have prepared me for treating a great worm. But we're close, I can feel it, and while I've only got a few more drops of aether left to give, with yours and grass, this will work. Then I believe I speak for both of us when I say that you may take as much as you require. Careful, I might hold you to that. Alright, here we go.
No. I'm almost there. Isn't it so easy to just pass on your energy to Goku? This is it, Angelo! Know for certain until the shackles are removed. That's good speech, huh? Task in Oops, uh, Many have been subjected to the Allegans' dark arts, their flesh irrevocably altered. For such tortured souls, I fear there can be no salvation. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that was the one I was saying earlier about the ones that were turned to chimeras and were just, you know, suffering. They're waiting to die. The she means that she has to kill them. When that time comes, you won't be alone. We'll stand by you. She's in Alpha knows ready. It's time. Do it, and let's hope the treatment worked as it should. We can't show the animation of the shackles going down, so we're just gonna make a really glowy transition. It's literally just Nidhogg's uh, model, but with a different head. Sanjay, your timing could not be better. Understood, we're on our way. It's Bahamut. He's been sighted over Pagalthan. Mm. Good timing. for the largest amount of settlement in the region, at the head of a vast host, including dragons. Oh, well, that's not good. 
Oh, that, that's, those are Tiamat's kids, though. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You'd best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. Our enemy awaits. Shall we? of time to recover on the airship. Uh-huh. While I'm sure you're desperate to join Estinian and Tiamat in battle, it would be right wiser to gather the full strength of the science first. The foe we face demands no less. This is true. Okay, I don't need smoke to get any more money. Where's, where's Alphino? Oh, is he still there? I've already sent word to the others. We are to rendezvous in Ulda at the Hall of Flames. Let's collect Alpha and be on our way. Yes, we don't have that ugly monument anymore. Be free, my lady. Be free. Oh, thank you for automatically teleporting us. Uh, now I don't have to waste a teleport to get here. First, the spate of abductions, and now an attack on the Amalja homeland. What did the Telephoroi aim to achieve with all this? Did they did they go there because uh, our, our involved in Cordola messed with something there? I guess. If you're worried about me, don't be. I got some rest during the flight, and now I feel ready for anything. Uh huh. As I am sure you recall, Arinvold and Fordola were bound for Pagotan. I, play, I pray they have not come to any harm. Or you know, was the reason why they started going there in the first place? I don't know. By happy coincidence, Prowl and I were in the process of concluding our inquiries when news reached us of Lunar Bahamut's return. There's much to discuss, but I'll have to wait. Of the foe we face, we know but little. Though time be of the essence, we must not stint in our preparations, lest our haste to fly with aid of the Almaja cost us our best chance of victory. Yes, stand cred. Dear Pizza Mode. Now, I know some of you could do with the rest, but I'm sorry to say that Teleferoi had other plans. Paglothan is already under siege. Oh. Happily, the mortal flames arrived just in time to join the defensive effort, with Marshal Tarupin at the head. Well now, given the failure of the peace negotiations, I was uncertain how the Sultanate would respond. So it's good to hear Ulda has not abandoned El Malja. Abandoned them? Did we not profess to be their friends? Who? Oh. Hi. Marshal Tarapun has made provisions for such an exigency, and I was ready to depart at a moment's notice. All that was required was the agreement of the Syndicate, each to whom voted in favor of intervention. Nor is Ulda alone in its resolve. The other Alliance nations have likewise dispatched their troops to Pagotan. Yet even with our combined strength, we shall be sorely tested, for we face not only the might of an Imperial Legion, but Lunar Bahamut and his draconic horde besides. Tiamat's children. This was what I said. Fight as we may, victory is by no means assured, but not all of the omens are grim. Our forces report that despite the proximity to Lunar, Lunar Bahamut, none of Dalmalja shows any signs of tempering. 
strange. What primal would turn down the chance to claim new thralls? Maybe it's not a primal, maybe it's just a sh Van Daniels, uh, whatever. Like, I'm just gonna make toys and then call them Lunar and then claim it as my own and whatever. Uh, some, I was gonna say something else, but whatever. Unless it is incapable of doing so, primals are not one to serve a master, as in, or otherwise. It may very well be that Lunar Bahamut differs in some fundamental nature from those we have previously encountered. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I remember in the trailer, like, Tiamat was fighting other dragons and that kind of confused me. And then now, uh, I think there's the reason now. There were some that are on Bahamut's side and some that are on Tiamat's side. If that were true, anyone could fight him. And Griffin and others like her wouldn't have to shoulder the burden alone. Be that as it may, Lunar Bahamut remains an incalculer and calcula be bleh. It's powerful. With whom our damn soldiers will struggle to best through mere force of arms. With the aid of the science, however, I believe that they will fare better, assuming that is you are ready to take the field. An airship awaits to bear you to the front. They set forth as soon as you are able. I, meanwhile, shall continue coordinate our forces. Till next we meet, may the full blessing keep you. Why does her dress look like a squash? It was kind of her to speak to, with us personally. You may be so certain she has no shortage of other responsibilities. Well, I for one am inclined to do as her grace requests. Lest we forget, our involved and Fredola are in Pagothan on reconnaissance. The sooner we save the day, the better the chances. Indeed, to their ship then. Okay, now here's the bottleneck. Uh, if I queue for Paglathan, will I be able to queue in at a reasonable amount of time as a DPS? Otherwise I'd have to go as a tank and then I don't know if I'm mentally prepared to shoulder that responsibility. Okay, where are my boys at? Where are we off to? It's not impossible that the Teleferoi redirected some of the troops stationed at the tower to the front line. So this may all turn out to have been to our involved and Fordola's benefit. So the Telephoroi have constructed buildings capable of tempering and primals which are not? What secrets are they hiding? Hmm. hmm. true. Given what we know, some, or perhaps even all of the Imperial soldiers, may have been tempered. If we can subdue them, we should be able to do something about that. They would still see us as enemies even then. That said, they wouldn't be deaf to reason, which is better than nothing. Do you think Estenian and Tiamat, Tiamat have already reached Pagothan? Uh, but I should know better than to speculate in the whereabouts of those okay. Forgive me. Yeah, you better be sorry. Try as I might, I cannot fathom why the Telephoroi would move to attack the Amalja. If Fandaniel's objective is a death and destruction, one of the city-states would surely have been a better target. No. They have some other agenda. One incapacitating the recent abductions. Yeah, they're targeting all the beasts. Not all of them, but uh, uh, the Ixel was one of them that they were specifically targeting, so... Lest you wonder, I have attended Thancred's ammunition and completed my own preparations. I trust thou can't say the same of mine. I'm ready. Am I ready? I'm ready. So yeah, they're targeting the beast tribes. I think he's trying to make shadow versions of their primals. That's my that's my hypothesis. Say the word, she'll go over there at once. Pad, Paglathan. I don't know what the apostrophe is supposed to signify, but Paglathan. Uh, hopefully it's not too long. Long have the sweeping plains of Pagothan been home to the nomadic um Oh, hell yeah! I didn't even get to finish reading it. That's good odds. 